Welcome everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make this car look like it's moving. Right now, we can see that we can clearly see that it's parked. You know, it's not moving. So let's get started. First of all, obviously, we will start with duplicating the layer by pressing Control and J so that we don't mess the original image okay so first of all um, what I'm going to do is go to select and subject so this will select the subject in our case the subject is the car so once we do that press ctrl and J to duplicate the selected area so if you turn off the other layers you can see that the top layer has only car okay so once we do that we're gonna go to the second layer uh, if you count from the background layer it's the third layer but if you just count the cars it's second layer okay we're going to go to the second layer which has the actual picture and then we'll go to filter blur and motion blur you can already see that it's way better than before so for angle we're going to keep it zero because the car is straight okay and for distance let's see around 28 is okay 28 pixels click OK it already looks like it's moving but we have a little bit of work to do so now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna click on the top layer layer and we can see that the the place the area behind the car is not moving as you can see it's not blur so what we have to do is we're gonna hide these parts from this layer so to do that we're gonna go to quick selection tool and try to select the part here and holding the shift key you're gonna select here but what it does is it uh, selects all the part. We don't need this black part. So let's try to press Alt key and then click like this. So this is going to select the window part and not the black frame. Uh, after that, we're going to go to this add layer mask. Okay. okay after that we're gonna invert that mask okay uh, click on the thumbnail of the mask and press ctrl i so this has uh, made the window blur so okay this is what we are looking for but this part is not selected yet so we're gonna go to quick selection tool but it's not that sharp that's why quick selection is not able to select the specific part for that we will go to this one click here and we we'll go to magnetic lasso tool and we'll try to select this part okay click here for magnetic lasso tool you just need to click on one corner and then just move your mouse once you're done just click okay so it's selected again you have to hide the area to hide the area you need black color on the mask so click on the mask thumbnail and then you can use this brush but the shortcut would be to select black here okay 
foreground the foreground color is black and then click alt and backspace okay so that has hidden the window from the top layer okay i hope you're getting it uh we are hiding the part where it uh, it looks like the uh the background's not moving okay so now we have one thing left that is the tires the tires don't look like they're moving so for that what we're going to do is we're going to create one more uh duplicate layer of this car just the car okay the car layer top layer click on the top layer and click uh press control and j and click on this mask we don't need the mask right now or we're going to change the mask okay so click on the mask and click the delete button delete and now what we're going to do is zoom in and then we're going to select so for selection we'll go to this thing click here and go to elliptical marquee tool so we're going to Put our ma mouse on the center of the tire and hold shift and alt key together and then drag like this and we have selected this area again hold the space key and drag like this again holding the shift key shift and alt click like this sorry about that just a moment I missed something here let's see let's go to the elliptical market tool again hold shift and alt, alt key and we have made the selection what we can do is uh, now we can go to mask and it had it has hidden all the part except the tire again we can zoom it zoom in and go to this tire and again press alt and shift and put the mouse on the center of the tire and drag like this okay and again what you can do is uh, here you can see that it's black the foreground, foreground color is black click this and change it to white and now click alt and backspace so press ctrl D to deselect I hope you are understanding what I'm doing right now so the thing here is that the top layer now is only the tire okay the two tires so that's the thing so once you do that let's zoom in a little bit now you can select this part So again what you can do is go to this elliptical tool again and then holding the shift and alt key just do this okay and then go to filter blur and radial blur okay so put the blur method to spin and then amount to about 27 so this is what we are looking for press ctrl and d to do select again go here press alt and shift key drag like this okay 
Now go to filter again, go to blur, radial blur, and same thing, same setting. Click OK. OK. So that's what we want. So now it looks like it's moving. So that's how we make the car, a still car, a parked car look like it's moving in the picture. So I hope you like this video. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this channel.